This is the 2018 Benelli TNT 135, not the 125, it's the 135 stock, black red. And we taken out this oil, oil filter. Look at that. That's disgusting. Keep in mind, I notice nobody's telling y'all, this filter, the new one, it goes in the engine with the rubber facing the engine, like that. The spring that's on the cap, I'll show you in a second, goes to the back. The spring is going to help push that in and put tension on these three bolts. They're eight millimeter. The spring is also going to be pushing back. That way when this vibrates, these start to come loose. Keep checking it. Check everything all the time. You don't want that to happen. They put a spring in there. That helps. That's the nasty filter that came out. That's the disgusting oil. Keep changing it. Not, I'd say every 700 miles, six, 700 miles. Change it because if you don't, it destroys. Don't forget, that's how it goes in the engine. You're going to need the filter. It's a KN 112, KN 112. This is the new one. Adorable. Remember that rubber goes that way into that engine. Bang. You're going to need the small ratchet. A 13. If you don't have a 13 and you're desperate, maybe get a half. Get a combination of 13. Combination. Combination of a half if you're desperate. You're going to need that knife, a sharp blade. That's going to take out the cap gasket or o-ring if you notice that arrow pointing up that means your cap is going to go with that hole pointing up when installed just like that up that's the arrow up just like that the customized one it's awesome but it don't have an arrow. So I'm thinking the label up, if you get this customized or buy it on, online, I think the label is gonna be facing up. That's gonna be the best way to fit it back together. Let me show you this. Benelli, good job. Plastic, crap. Don't even have a weather O-ring in it. Benelli did that. That's what they come with stock, junk. Look, there's that spring. There's the three bolts that go. That's that spring I was telling you about. Look at this. This is this is the correct way to put. This is a little custom. Big difference than the original by far. Look at that. Brutal. Solid aluminum. Solid aluminum by this company if you want. That's all the companies, or most of them, that I've used to do this. Look at that, that's pathetic. And they put a weather ring in it, or an O-ring. That way when you insert these, it keeps them nice and snug, and it keeps debris and the weather out. One goes on the opposite side of the bike too. But the new, all that you're gonna need, you can even use one of these, eight millimeter little T-wrench, you know, good hard snug if you don't have a torque wrench, that's how you do it. Also, make sure you pop this baby off. Just, you know, let it breathe, give it some vent. This is on the opposite side. That's what the cap looks like. You can use the quarter for mechanics method. And it don't scratch, it fits perfect. Better than a, a wrong size flathead screwdriver. They'll scratch it up or nick it. Leave it open, let it breathe like that. This is the actual. Right there. That's the oil plug that you're gonna remove. 13, nice and snug when you put it back. Drain it out. All this being open up here, that's gonna help this all come out. You might wanna warm up the block a little bit. Probably 10, 12, 14 pounds torque. If not, just snug it good. 
all these right here if you ever work on all that same thing with these don't tighten none of these down very much this is just cheap thin aluminum casing it'll crack in a heartbeat it'll crack in a heartbeat even the new the if you go get all that you know what I mean that's about a quart, a little over a quart of oil you want to replace when you put everything back together in reverse. About a quart of oil, 1040, a little bit more than one quart, and that should do it. Um, if you're going to get the customs for the bike, there's the pipe. That's the six disc racing clutch that you're going to have to get these springs. These springs are 30% more stronger. You're going to need that if you get the six disc racing clutch. They're illegal, by the way. Then you got the intake filter. That's a cap for it. There's the uh, RC5 computer components that you're going to need to possibly upgrade, log it into your, your laptop, and it'll let you set all kinds of stuff. Read that program. That's the customs that you get. Uh, all right, I'm out.